Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be selling some clothes that I actually haven't been able to sell for the last like two months. It's just been sitting in my inventory. Last time I came to the spot, I found $700 Vediments jeans. This is the sole listing right here. I actually sold them within like two days. So I'm gonna have some high hopes for this place. I was the first one in this thrift and now there's a hundred million people in this thrift. So many finds though. Like, yo, look at this. Made in the USA. 20 bucks. For that oh cheetah bruh you trying to get cheated out bruh <laughs> you think i can leave a cheetah coat in a drift like this the vintage adidas okay this is a vintage adidas look at the tag on this thing just gone just completely gone there ain't no tag anymore they got 25 dollars but honestly i might just keep that the prices are crazy today Today, bruh, that's a nice a little check. Oh, it says bell on it. Oh, yeah, it has a little bell Canada hit vintage bell Canada. Oh, it has a little on the back. Oh, that's too. nice. Fifteen dollars. Tell me how that's fifteen and the Adidas one, yeah, twenty. Yeah, I mean, the Adidas one is a little bit older, but still, I don't think they know how old anything is. All right, we got that, that crazy Columbia jacket. Like, Is that a bull on the side? Look at that. Oh, I thought that was... It's that Columbia titanium ah. version. Just insane. Men's large, all brown. It's got that mocha, almost tan. It's like Carhartt it's style. It's kind of like Carhartt. They only want $25, what, $23? Mm-hmm. $23. Why have you seen a Columbia jacket with the metal? Or even the back metal. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. nice. I might actually leave that one. Cheetah on cheetah today. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just going full cheetah today. I don't know. I just keep finding cheetah. Marvel Funko Pop. My girl just found this. I'm not buying this. It's broken. <laughs> I hate this place for the passion. Anyways, we got that puppy people assistant. Vintage. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Made in the Canada. Large. Jericho. Ultra cotton. I haven't ever seen a tag that tag. This has like the same zipper as the Vintage Roots ones. Oh wow, yeah, it's like that quarter zip. Poppy people assistant, all red. <laughs> Dude, I might just keep this, I just like this. It's just nice, it's a nice one, you know? We got them Farachis. We got a kid crying in the back like a demon. We got them Harachis. Ooh, baby, them Harachis. Maybe I should take a thumbnail like that. We got the Marachis all red, really good condition. They're not going to take much to clean them up at all. I'm pretty sure they're a 6... 6.5 wide? 6.5 wide, what's that like? It's like a 7.5, 7 8, and a half, 8. I don't know if I should take these in. It might be a bad size. They're not that bad. I don't know, some girl could definitely squeeze into them. Oh, they have a little rip right there. And a little rip right there. Oh, no. I might actually leave these from that rip alone. They only want $9 for these Hirachis though. With the rips, the Hirachi rip, $9 rip. Come on, B. Let me get them. We got that bear backpack. Some girls who just want to get all bared out and cuddled up with that bear. Mouser size from 1981. It has the little inside thing too. Let me show this off. Kind of cool. Mouser size. It's got all the Mouser sizes on the front. We got 1981 date right there. This is a great show. If you haven't seen Mandalorian, go watch Mandalorian. I'm not going to buy it, but it's, you know, great show. We got that. Mythbusters. Mythbusters. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Experts of Dangerous. Mythbusters. It's on a Y2K fruity tag. This is annoying, but it's on a Y2K fruity tag. I don't know if I'm going to grab that. They want four bucks, though. I don't know how many people fuck with the Mythbusters. What is it? I already showed this off. I'm going to just leave that shit there. And then we got a bunch of hard items for the flips. Mm -hmm. All right, we found some Fujis, and I found one cassette today, Aerosmith, Get a Grip. It's kind of in bad shape, but hey, you know, I haven't really ever found any like rock cassettes or anything, metal cassettes. I look for them a lot and never find them, so I will be keeping that. Now this thing, I don't know much about it. I think I'm gonna leave this one. I'm gonna be hurt though if it's worth like 50 <laughs> bucks, you know? We got some good finds today. Man, this, this coat though alone, 
Tell me you can come to the thrift and pick up a leather coat. I mean, some people can't rock it like me. You can't obviously pull off cheetah every day like I can, but you know, we're, we're different people, me and you. So you guys just see me find these Timberland boots. I actually have a lot of Tims right now, so I'm gonna actually see how much they give me for these Timberland boots, and I, it's getting close to summertime, so I'm probably not gonna be able to sell them anytime soon, and I might be able to sell them, I only have them for like a week, but I actually am kind of curious how much they'll give me for these Tims. We just got like a cream fleece, top white fleece. I got this, uh, we got this, it's like a Georgia Tech uh, Russell volleyball, Georgia Tech volleyball hoodie. We got a couple TNA pairs of pants. I got some more random hoodies. It's like some cheaper hoodies. I got this Columbia Denali. It's like a Columbia Denali fleece. It's like a smaller size. I couldn't sell it, so we'll see what happens. These are like personal pairs of jeans that I put away like four years ago. I was gonna do some customs on them, but I'm not even gonna bother because I have so many pairs now. I'm just gonna see what we get for them. These ones are actually kind of nice. They got some nice like buttons on them and shit, whatever. I only sell Levi's and Carhartt jeans now though, so there's literally no point of me even having these. I got some Under Armour sweaters. I got some more girl shorts. We got some Tommy sweaters and some more TNAs. So we have a couple things. We're gonna see how much we get for it. See if we can make a nice come up in here. Back Tell me that's not the craziest back hit on a fleece you've ever seen? Come on now. <laughs> Let me just show you kind of how much finds there really is. That Gap, got some more like Calvin, got that Adidas, Club Monaco, Bench, Under Armour, more Gap, some Vintage Nautica, some North End, Viva. There's a lot of finds in this place. Nike and Jordan back to back. So the store is blasting copyrighted music, so I have to voice over this entire part. Got the Nike Jordan back to back this 90s mickey casting spells on the front just magic mickey all red beautiful colorway 90s tag six bucks just a steal we got this arcteric jacket or some shit i don't know how to pronounce this brand i don't fuck with it at all i do know it sells pretty easily i sold this jacket actually already for 60 bucks within an hour of posting it so that's an easy cop for 10 bucks we got the Armani jeans with that metal back patch, just looking beautiful. I sell these for 60 bucks pretty quickly actually, and these were just in great condition, so I couldn't leave those. We got the Reverse Weave Vintage Champion. It's like that purple codeine colorway, just a dope ass sweater. Has that nice champion tag, and I think it was a women's size. I don't know, it probably was, look at the color. I found this Nike 90s gray, red swoosh, whatever. You already know the 90s Nike. Had a little bit of stain on it. Honestly, I don't know who would rock this. I wouldn't rock this, so I just left it. We got a bunch of finds of these Gymshark pants, and I found a bunch of Gymshark pants before. I know they just sell so hot with girls right now. Same with the Nike Pro pants for girls, but they wanted $25, so I couldn't buy them. Another find of these orange tab Levi's and like what are orange tab Levi's doing in the store? I don't know who would come here and try to sell them, but they're mine now. Nice pair of big flag Tommy jeans, just dead stock. Honestly, I don't even think anybody even wore these at all. 32 by 32, my perfect size with the little flag in the pocket. Just beautiful. Those are sitting in my closet right now. Got the Raptors with that big OVO on the back. Honestly, I left this. It didn't want anything for it, and I'm regretting leaving it because I feel like I could have sold it pretty easily. And we got another pair of Carhartt jeans. And Carhartt jeans, you already know. You can't be leaving Carhartt jeans. I think these were the insulated ones too, so I had to cop them. They were just ice blue. All right, so we just came out of Play-Doh's closet, and this is the total for our receipt. We got a total trade-in value of $28.61. And uh, we spent $43. I'm pretty sure in the store they were just blaring the music. So I don't think any of it was even recorded properly without being copyrighted. So I picked up the orange tab Levi's. We're just nice ass orange tab. It's got that old vintage made in Canada tag 34 by 30. Nice orange tab Levi's. Nice black faded. My last pair I sold really damn quick too. So that's like a good 50, 60 bucks already. We got some nice big flag 
Tommy jeans. Like these are just beautiful. I love Tommy jeans with the big flag. They just don't make them like this anymore. And uh, got a nice little flag in the pocket. These are what, a 32 by 32? And they're like dead stock, like not even worn. Literally, oh wait. Yeah, 32 by 32, that's a really good size. Actually fits me perfectly. I could wear these. Yeah, they literally do feel brand new. They're like not even worn at all. We got this vintage Disney crew neck where the magic lives, Walt Disney World. It's got that vintage Disney size on it, a double XL, and they make this shit like one size, so it's really not a double XL. Now, I have to do some research and see if this is even legit, because honestly, I don't even know if it's legit. They sold it for $10. Like, why would they sell this for 10 bucks? The tag looks good, though. Like, the tag looks stitched perfectly. Looks like not really garbage, you know? Yeah, the stitching on the back of the neck looks really well done. Yeah, the stitching on the back of the neck. It all looks really well, honestly. It really looks really nice. So I think it may be real. But, hey, we might have just found a really big come up on this one alone. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. It does support the channel. I'm uploading videos consistently Wednesday and Saturday. So I will see you guys on the next one. Water, yeah, water, yeah.